in the classic Newcastle fashion out of defence to Melbourne. An exchange with Robledo and Melbourne was gone. I put a few short ones in and got him going the wrong way and then just slipped it in. As a matter of fact, I never saw that ball go into me. I knew it was there as soon as I touched it, but what a sigh of relief, John, because if I had missed that one, my goodness me, or had my head cut off, I would have done. Four years later, Newcastle beat Manchester City 3-1 in the final. Jackie's header after just 45 seconds was and still is the quickest goal ever scored in an FA Cup final. I was never very good in here, I've got to be honest about this. But uh, I won a corner kick earlier and I ran uh, half the length of the field and slid and the ball went for a corner. Len White took the corner and it came over and I was unmarked. I couldn't believe it. And all I had to do was thrust the neck muscles and the next thing I knew it was fine past Bill Troutman and that was a wonderful trade for me. Of course, I've never heard the end of it in Newcastle. Never heard it because I couldn't head the ball very well and uh, they keep talking about it now. It gives me a lot of pride though. After a brief flirtation with management, he became a sports journalist, covering Newcastle for the national press. They turned out in their thousands to say goodbye to Jackie Milburn, the man regarded by many as the greatest footballer the North East has produced. His ashes will be finally scattered on his beloved St. James's Park. Among the mourners at St. Nicholas's Cathedral in Newcastle were many of his footballing contemporaries and his famous family. Inside, the cup final hymn, Abide With Me, rang out, just as it had at Wembley Stadium when Jackie Milburn helped Newcastle to three FA Cup wins in the 1950s.